Hi everyone. Hello. Your teacher, Miss Oliver, has contacted me and asked for me to t give you a few Ukrainian phrases for you to learn. Plus, I know that we've got some questions that you might want to ask me, and she has given me a list. So, why don't we start with a few phrases? Phrase number one. Hi, how are you? Привіт! Як справи? Phrase two. I'm good, thanks. Добре, дякую. Phrase three. What is your name? Як твоє ім'я? Number four. My name is... Моє ім'я... Вікторія. Number five. Where do you live? Де ти живеш? Number six, and this is especially for you, I live in Cheshire. Я живу в Cheshire. Я живу в Cheshire. Right, so there are six phrases for you. Maybe you can practice them on each other and maybe you can send me a video of you doing that. If, this is, if you enjoy this, we can maybe make a few more phrases in another video. We'll see how it goes. Let's get back to some questions. <clears throat> so question number one, what is Kiev normally like? Well, I've been living there for five years, or I had been until we had to leave. It's a beautiful place, uh, very uh, cosmopolitan, but also very uh, traditional when you get outside of the city. Unfortunately, during the war, you've only seen videos of what it's like now. When we go back there after this is finished, I would love to keep making the videos to show what it is, what it's like. So number two, what do you normally do there? Uh, Victoria, what do you like to do in Kiev? We like uh, go for a walk to Marinsky Park. There's a big park right outside the Marinsky Palace. Yeah, very old and famous. It's where the government building is. And unfortunately, that's where the Russians are trying to get to at the moment, because this is where Vladimir Zelensky is. Okay, what is my favourite type of Ukrainian food? It's all so nice. We have a traditional soup made from beetroot called borscht. Also, there are some dumplings, which are called vereniki. What are your favourite ones? The same, I think. You don't, li you don't like khutia? What? Khutia? Uh, Kutia. 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 I'm not very good at Ukrainian, sorry. It's... And this is a traditional... I word. like Golubtsi. Golubtsi. Mm -hmm. So this is rice mi uh, wrapped in, in cabbage, yeah? Oh, yeah, my mom, she does this perfect. Very nice, she does it very nicely, yeah. Okay, what was it like when we were staying at the school? You saw the videos, it wasn't so bad. The... Uh, the actual area was nice. We had made it nice with a, you know, some griller, some a bread maker, a blender, lots of food. So the actual area was nice. But unfortunately, of the circumstances, it wasn't a good place to be. We were right in the center, about a kilometer from the Marinsky Palace, like I told you before, which is where Vladimir Zelensky was staying, or around that area. So. The Russians were getting closer and closer, and we were feeling surrounded, so we had to leave. Uh, how long or how many days did it take to get to Poland? Oh, well, when did we leave? I don't remember. Let's it was a Saturday morning. Five days, I'm pretty sure. It took us five days to get to Poland. That included uh, 43 hours driving, and then another three hours to get to Krakow, where we are now. Um, so 43 hours in the car, it was... Before over... war, it will take one day maybe. Seven hours maybe. Yeah, seven hours. Yeah, because actually we had to, we couldn't go directly on the northern route because it had been blown up and there were Russians there. So we had to drive four hours to the south and then go west. And you know what? It was quite a dangerous journey. Uh, halfway down the, the travelling south, we passed a village or a town and then an hour later it was blown up. Then we got to stay in another city and 25 minutes after we left that city, the airport was blown up by eight missiles. Uh, we missed that by 25 minutes, but we were lucky because we were staying about two kilometers from that, about a mile from where that was. 
What are we going to do now that we've left Ukraine? Okay, so what are we doing now? Tell them about our plans for Saturday. We are going uh, to England. We've booked our flights to go to England. So we're going to see my family. We were going to go there anyway, even if there was no war, because my younger brother has a wedding. But this war has made it very difficult to travel at all. So we will stay in England for some time. Unfortunately, we have to leave Pumpkin in Poland, but she's going to be with a good friend, so she'll be looked after. Will you go back to Ukraine? Yes, we will. When? After war finish. We'll come back to Ukraine when it's safe, because this is where my home is. So of course we will come back to Ukraine. We will still live in Kiev. But it needs to be safe. Are your friends uh, who are still in Ukraine? Actually, nobody's left in Ukraine who I know personally. I think some students have left and gone to different cities. But I mean my friends, we were the last people to leave. Um, one of my colleagues is still in Ukraine, I think, in Lviv, but that's not so dangerous at the moment. And the last question, how is Pumpkin? Pumpkin, she's okay. She's strong. She's a Ukrainian female. <laughs> They're the strongest people in the world. You think the army men are strong. I live with my wife, my daughter and my female cat. It's the women who rule this country. So Pumpkin is fine. We're going to drop her off, like I said, today, on Thursday, we, we uh, recorded this. So once, maybe when you see this, she will have already been uh, dropped off. So um, we're going to make a video about it on YouTube and you can watch about where we, where we drop her. And you can tell me if you think the person is nice enough to look after her. Okay, well, thank you very much. If you have any more questions, please give Miss Oliver any messages and she will pass them on to me. We are in contact. Other than that, have a great day on Friday. You're doing a charity event or to a, a fundraiser. So well done. Keep up the great work. And hopefully I can hear some of your questions from you. You can send me videos. That would be really nice if you have the time. So anyway, from Krakow, we will say goodbye and we'll be back in England on Saturday. Goodbye. Bye bye.